Hello everybody, so it's Matthew and I'm away right now, which is pretty great. Just thought I'd let you know that because you'll probably see on my Instagram like pictures of me away, which is pretty legendary, I might add my Instagram. And yes, I will eventually be making a separate video for this vacation, but also loop it in with, you know, my show and all that great stuff. So today I'm going to be reviewing Britney Spears music video for her song, Make Me. Now I originally shot a reaction video to this, filming my live reaction, and I decided not to upload it because it kind of made me look like I was trashing the video, which I wasn't. Okay, basically here are my thoughts. I like the video. I think it has a lot of potential, and I think that I'll get to the whole controversy of the first video and this video in a second, but first of all, I like the video. I think it's creative. I like seeing Brittany acting. It's like fun, you know, that she's switching it up. Because the past couple videos have not been really had any plot line. They've just been like her dancing in the desert, which I love. Like the work B music video was everything. But okay. So it starts off with her talking with her girlfriends and this guy comes up and she's like flirting with him and tells him to go to this dancer audition on Saturday. And she's like, <laughs> Saturday will be so much fun. No, that's not her. Saturday will be so much fun. Okay. So he comes there and then she has a bunch of other guys auditioning and they're just like dancing and she's like, yeah. And they cut to shots of her in these like awesome hallways that are like white and glowing and she looks amazing and she's doing all these dance moves like and like stuff like that. And she looks amazing and flawless and I'm thinking that could have been a part of the original video or I don't know, maybe. And before I get to the original video controversy, I just want to say that maybe for this one, she should have just done the parts they were showing in the hallway because that would have been cool as like the actual video without the background of it being behind the scenes. Like a lot of people have been doing this lately. They're too lazy to make an actual video so they just have like a set where they film their video but it's filmed of them filming their video. Like I don't understand. But okay, on to the controversy. Um, basically, on June 1st, Britney tweeted a picture of her and her all of her dancers and said, day one, and she was filming the video. And uh, this video got completely scrapped. Now, recently, a little bit of it leaked online, and there's a lot of speculation of why she chose to do a second video. People are saying it because it was too saucy, her managers, but that's kind of what she built her career on. Like, no shade, no tea. Like, I love her. She's everything. But that's what she built her career on, and I think it's fine. And now her handlers are saying that it just didn't make sense, but this video didn't make too much sense either, so I don't know. Um, I think the second one, the one we all saw, is good. Um, I'm annoyed that they used the same thing from the Glory album art. You know, Glory, her upcoming album, buy it, August 26th. Um, oh, by the way, yeah, her new song, Private Show, was available for pre-order on this, so I'm gonna review that real quick. I love it. It sounds, like, amazing. It's a lot different than Make Me, and I like that their two are, like, very contrasted, and there's 17 songs on this album, so I'm so excited. In an interview she said recently on Ryan Seacrest, she said it's gonna have a more hip-hop vibe feel, which I don't even know what that means, but it's gonna be really cool, and... Private Show is this really upbeat song. Or in the verses, she sounds a little funny. She's like, work it, work it, target, target. But I love it. And someone said she sounds like she has a cold. Uh, she always does. But I love the way she sings. And I think she's very talented, actually. So, love Britney. The video for Make Me was a slight disappointment. But I don't know. I, th I still thought it was good. And Private Show is amazing. Pre-order Glory on iTunes right now. And then if you don't pre-order it now, it's available on August 26th. So you can buy it then, but you should pre-order it now. Alright, subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Follow me on Instagram at MattManning16. Bye.